wait times at the HCA East Florida Hospital emergency rooms average in the single digits less than 10 minutes. Just go to hcaeastflorida.com. There they list all their wait times. And they update them every 30 minutes because emergencies do not wait for appointments. That's hcaeastflorida.com. Well, if you are a fan of Italian wines, you certainly know the name of Michele Chiarlo, uh, one of the finest winemakers in Italy. has been for a long time, since 1956. Uh, back then, uh, they, they started making superior Barberas and high-quality Barolos. They also make a number of other varieties. They were the first to perform malolactic fermentation on Barbera d'Asti in 1982. And they were at the beginning of the green harvest uh, of formation in Italy, dating back to 2007. We're so pleased to be joined by uh, one of the sons of Michele Chiarlo, St uh, Stefano. Uh, he and his uh, brother, Alberto, uh, hold a, a variety of management roles. Stefano is an enologist of, of profession, manages vineyard operations, and also collaborates in production inside the cellar. Welcome to the show. Well, Good to see you. Thank you very much. Jimmy. You, know, you know, I've been drinking your, your wines for a very, very long time. If you want a high quality Italian Verano from the Piemonte section of Italy, you go to Michele Chiarlo. Uh, tell us about the family operation. This is all family owned. Yeah, this is all family owned. Uh, you know, the origin of my family is uh, a grower. And, uh, you know, my, my father has a guy like American dream in Italy because when he's finished the winemaker school in uh, 1956, uh, his dream is to produce quality wine and to try to export uh, Italian application around the world. And so the, the, uh, what, uh, what was very important is that uh, he said uh, my grandfather to my father. So when you have the possibility, you have to buy the best land because if you want to produce the best wine, you need the best land in Piemonte. You know? Right, and you certainly have accomplished all of that. Uh, the wines are, are, are of high quality. Uh, when you th think about a Barbera, we'll get to the Barbera in a few and minutes. you recognize this label. Yes, you do. You They're know, gorgeous It's very labels. easy to, to see on a shelf. Right, and, 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 the, and, the, and the artwork is really tremendous. You know, the women always buy by the label. You know oh, yeah. that, yeah. Stefano, especially in America. Right. And so they go through and they see these Chiarlo wines. Not only is the label beautiful, but they find it's wonderful juice inside of the bottle, too. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Right. The, 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 also, the, the philosophy that there is behind the label is this touch of artistic, uh, really. label have to represent the soul of the wine that is behind. Because you know, for produce quality wine, you need a big job uh, behind the, the, the bottle, uh, long time, uh, but need a lot of experience, a lot of uh, knowledge, and obviously uh, a great teacher like my father. That right, uh, right. step by step. Uh, How old were you when you began? Be getting serious about the wine from your father? Yeah, uh, I finished the winemaker school in 1990, and for seven years I take care about the grapes in the vineyard, and step by step I became a winemaker official for Gavi, the first wine, and uh, from 98 uh, I am the official winemaker for the family wine. Wonderful. Well, you mentioned the Gavi, we're going to start by tasting that today. If you're not familiar with Gavi, it's a wonderful white varietal. Uh, and and uh, again, Chiarlo makes one of the best ones that I've had. Great uh, with food. It, it is wonderful with yeah. food. And, and the price point is a very good one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we start with that one then? And we'll go on from there. But this is the, uh, this is the uh, I'll let you pour. This is the uh, uh, Michele Chiarlo Gavi. Uh, Gavi. Tell us about the production of this, uh, where it comes from exactly. And yeah, uh, you know, Gavi is a Cortese grape variety arrived from the southeast of Piemonte region, close to the Apennine Mountains, close to Liguria Sea. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the weather condition and microclimate yeah. is the influence for the Mediterranean warm wind. And Cortese is a variety that is not aromatic, is not uh, uh, too much heavy, but is very uh, delicate variety, very flowering variety. And especially it's called the white Barolo because they have uh, the opportunity to have a nice evolution for a long time. What is really uh, unique in the Gavi wine is that uh, uh, obviously the, the flavor in, in the nose, but also in the mouth, uh, it, it, it keep the crispy, the nice acidity that uh, help uh, uh, the match uh, with uh, mm, all the food, uh, uh, delicate food, uh, for example, it works very well with the fish, but also with the spice food, uh, with the Asian food, uh, with the carpaccio made, uh, you know that in Piemonte ah, we have a carne right. cruda, right. Uh, local carpaccio with the oil, so, uh, 
he gives the opportunity to not cover the delicacy of the food, but in the same time have this kind of attractivity, a nice uh, uh, flavor in the mouth that uh, uh, when it's finished our glass, you won't drink another right, glass. Right, right. Uh, again, it's the Gavi from Michele Chi uh, Chiarlo, 100% Cortese grape. Uh, it's not. It's pressed without crushing. That's interesting too. Yeah, yeah. Th this is a, a very delicate variety. Uh, if you if you press with this delicacy, you keep this kind of flavor for a long time. Right. You know? We're, uh, we're, we're being told by our friend uh, Mauro Magliani, who's the co-brand Italian wine specialist, part of uh, the Republic National uh, brand, uh, that this is about $18 a bottle uh, at a retail store, right? Um, wonderful. Uh, Which is a wonderful value would, wine. Yeah, when you say Ligurian C, would this go well with pesto? I guess it would, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah cut absolutely. through the, the thickness of the pesto. Yeah. Uh, terrific bottle of wine. Yeah. And great nose. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... Um, it's just, it's very well balanced. It, it seems, Stefano, that um, Italian whites are becoming more in vogue in the United States. For a while, you thought Italian wine, you only thought red. But now whites are starting to come in and different varietals. Because people yeah. wouldn't know, if you said Cortese, most Americans wouldn't know what it is. Maybe with Agave. I believe uh, now that people are looking for uh, variety that are uh, more and more uh, attractivity with nice acidity. Mm -hmm. That uh, now uh, American people learn that Italian wine uh, works very well with the food. Right. Uh, uh, and this is why are looking for uh, white variety, white wine that are not too heavy, not too, uh, with some unicity that you can find uh, right. in, in different variety, right. you know. And for Americans, if, you, if you're going to drink something like this uh, uh, Gavi from uh, Michele Chiorlo, uh, drink it by itself, but also then try it with food. Because of the acidity, it really changed the flavor of yeah. both that you put yeah. in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. Um, all right, terrific bottle of wine. Again, it's the $18 bottle uh, retail generally of the Gavi from Michele Chiorlo. Um, terrific bottle of wine. Now, the next one up is this Barbera, which is not your normal, average, everyday bar uh, a Barbera. You know, mostly when you think of a Barbera here in the United States, yeah. you think of something, you pull off the shelf, you bring it home that night, and you drink it. Yeah. This can age for a long time. Oh, yeah. This is a new appellation, Nizza, that is the historic and the most vocated soy for the best Barbera, for a great uh, personality, great character with the potentiality to, to have a nice evolution for 15, 20 years. That's good, Brad. thank you. Um, for 15 or 20 years, a Barbera, because yeah. it's in this specific area called Nizzi? Nizza? Yes. Nizza, yes, that is the capital of Nizza Monferrato, in the Monferrato area. Um, there is a, uh, this appellation, a new appellation, but the roots are uh, very old, because uh, the local people know that from the best uh, sunny exposition of Barbera for the old vineyard, they have the opportunity to produce a Barbera that when it's born a new song, this song can drink when I arrive to 18, 20. <laughs> and, and, and my father was one of the pioneers that write this new appellation right. with a very severe, uh, uh, severe uh, uh, regulamentation. For example, you can use only the best sunny exposition. The yield in the vineyard are very low, uh, less than seven tons per hectare when Barolo is eight. Mm. And minimum, you, have, you need 18 months of uh, refining between oak and, and bottle. Uh, in this case, uh, it's a Nizza Reserva, more than 30 months. Arrived from very old vineyard, more than 45 years old. And the production in the vineyard are very low. That means that uh, after the green harvest in August, we get five or six bounces, small bounces. So if you get uh, a small production, uh, the, the, the effort of the vineyard give more uh, uh, personality, more flavor, more structure. And uh, uh, Barbera, it keep the acidity that also help for have a nice evolution. You know, this again, the Nizza uh, Barbera uh, from Michele Chiarlo, about $45 uh, for retail. And this is something that will age for a very, very long time. Uh, and I can and tell you, this nose, it doesn't smell like any Barbera that I've ever had. Yeah. It just yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Brenda, did you taste no, it? No, I did. I, of course I did. I jumped, jumped to it. It's beautiful wine. Mm. Boy, well, what year is this? This is 13. It's a very classic uh, vintage, uh, classic in the term of weather condition that Barbera loves this kind of uh, 
uh, long and dry summer time, but also we pick up the grapes by hand in the middle of September when we have the perfect ripeness of the skins and the seeds. Right. This is the secret, you know, uh, small production, aged uh, fermenting in the big oak uh, and 50% in barrique, 50% in the large oak, one year. Right. And after we, we refining minimum other two years in the bottle before release. I so. see. And because there is not a lot of uh, uh, grapes, as he said, uh, small production in the vineyard, to get this really great flavor of the Barbera, you've got a, a bunch of places uh, that you can get it here in South Florida. Uh, finer wine stores uh, such as Sunset Corner and some of the finer Italian stores as well, uh, 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 restaurants as well. So go ahead and ask for it by name. This is uh, the Barbera from Michele Chiarlo and Nizza is the important element for it, okay? Nizza is what you want to go to. Uh, but just a beautiful bottle of wine. The, 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 the flavor is terrific. The nose is wonderful. And something you can age for a very, very long time. Cheers, I love this Cheers. one too. Cheers. Salute. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Boy, the things you're doing there. I gotta tell you, Stefano. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous yes. glass. You can match uh, with the several uh, food, um, with oh. a tagliolini oh. with porcini mushroom, braised veal, a good cheese, mm. and uh, it's a gastronomic wine also. Yeah. It's not uh, too difficult to understand because it's not a, a tannic variety. Mm -hmm. So also the people that drink uh, the big, uh, I don't know, California wine or right. uh, the Super Tosca. Would is, uh, enjoy this It's important much, one, yeah. but very, very approachable. Well, uh, again, You know, any kind of food sauce. Yeah. You know, yeah. any uh, sauces. Well, I could see some cheeses oh too that goodness. would just be outstanding. Yeah. But it's it's again, it's something that's kind of special. And for a forty-five dollar retail price point, it's yeah. a great price. You want a very good bottle of wine. It's uh, it's this Nizza from a uh, 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 Barbera from uh, Michele Chiarlo. And the last one, of course, is this a single vineyard Barolo that we have? This is single vineyard uh, Barolo, one of the most famous single vineyard because. Uh, for give an idea, the first classification about uh, the best single vineyard was right from Lorenzo Fantini in 1880. Mm -hmm. At this time, there are only two Grand Cru. That was one is Cerequia and the other is uh, Brunate. And so this is a very particular condition for this single vineyard. Uh, you say, say again, Cerequio? Cerequio. Cerequio. Cerequio, that means the good land in the old uh, Piemontese dialect. Right. Yeah. Uh, retail for about $120. Uh, and again, one of the top Barolos you can find, single vineyard uh, from Michele Chiarlo. Uh, there, I imagine, is not a lot of production of this as well. Oh, no. The, we produce only in the top uh, vintages, uh, 1,000 mm, 1, cases uh, in, uh, in, in this vintage. And uh, what is really important, that is a uh, uh, is a particular soil because uh, the idea of single vineyard that are very, uh, very small uh, piece of land uh, in the Barolo area, that the composition of the soil uh, with the micro elements give the different personality to the Nebbiolo grape for, for the Barolo single vineyard. And you smell the truffle on yeah. the oh, nose. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. You really do. Yeah, well, it, I'll tell you what, when truffle season comes, white truffle season. Yeah. If you can have this Michele Chiarlo Barolo, and I'm going to try to butcher the, it, it's Cerequio. Cerequio. Hey, yeah. not too bad. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you are Italian. Do, well, <laughs> my grandparents, put this in a combination, yeah. uh, and we'll do it. Gambero um, Rosso. So this is the, the only single vineyard that they take uh, tri, uh, more than 10 times the Trebicchiere. Trebicchiere means the, the most important Harvard, Harvard for uh, uh, Italian uh, mm -hmm. iconic wine. I know? see. Oh. Well, it's, it's, a, great, no, it's a great bottle of wine. This is, this is a special bottle It's not just a good, this is very special. Yeah, it is. You know, you talked about that uh, wonderful uh, Barbera that you could have and buy when someone is born and 18 years later it's going to be drinking perfectly. My daughter is turning 21. When she was born in 1997, I bought a lot of 97 Cabernets and Italian wines. So sadly, we're celebrating it. Yeah. And she, she said, I've been saving these wines perfectly for all these years. She said, I'd rather have some champagne. <laughs> I'm drinking the 97s. And you're going to have that. <laughs> I'm going to go back and find out if there's a Chiarlo in there, too. Absolutely beautiful. Stefano, thank you so much for this today. Oh, thank you. Again, thank it's, it's Michele Chiarlo, and you can follow them on Twitter at Michele Chiarlo. Let me spell it. M-I-C-H-E-L-E-C-H-I-A-R-L-O. Beautiful wines. I don't care what variety you get. You get a high 
high quality wine from Chiarlo. Uh, thanks so much for coming in today. He's a rock star in the wine world. Yeah, I mean, is. really, it's and just it such an honor. And thank our thanks you. to the folks at Cobrand. Uh, yes, for thank you, Mara. Him in today to Mara Mugliani, their Italian wine specialist. And, and the Republic National. If it's fun, we're doing it right. That's what they say. We'll come back with more right after this on HCA East Florida's Eat This, Drink That. Go. Cheers. Cheers.